Uh, some words that I would use to describe Caitlin are focused, um, humble, and a leader. Um, I think the one that stands out the most to me is just her humbleness uh, and her approach to basketball. Certainly she has achieved and been bestowed a lot of awards during her, her time here at NYU, um, but she doesn't expect those. She generally appreciates them. Yeah, um, it's really awesome to have Caitlin here at NYU uh, because when I do miss home, she's a great person to like talk about it with or to experience like experience things that we miss from our hometown. She has a really good work ethic. Like Caitlin's work ethic is one of the best I've seen academically and on the court. Um, she always in before and after practice and she goes to office hours. I mean like she puts in the time in order to get the outcome she wants and I really respect that and so I think coming in and having that role model I did the same thing and and can doing the same thing. Yeah so right when I came in my freshman year I think I looked up to Caitlin from the start. Um, her competitiveness in practice every day and the consistency she brought in every practice and every game was extremely admirable and I feel like she just approaches everything in life with such compassion and such heart and that those qualities just made me want to be a better player and better person and better leader when we were co-leaders together this last year. Um, when I knew she was was special was her second game of her freshman year. We were playing Springfield College and we were down by, I think, seven or eight with about seven minutes to go in the game. And I think what defines a really good, great player is one, they know the moment they kind of need to assert themselves and then they have the ability to do it. And so we called a timeout and I was out of the timeout and I heard Caitlin in her kind of Texas accent say, y'all, we ain't losing this. We are winning this game. And so one, for a freshman to have enough confidence to say it. And then number two, what then went and happened on the floor was absolutely unreal. She came up with two steals, two defensive boards, scored the next eight points. And what do you know, we won the game. NYU basketball, above and beyond the wins and the losses, has given me a group of girls that I'll be friends with for the rest of my life and that will be there for me when I need them or, you know, when I need something just to vent and get off my chest. I just, they're just so unique and all so different that I will carry those friendships with me for the rest of my life. But, you know, as a basketball player, this this conference and this program really taught me what it is to be a true competitor and to kind of apply that competitive drive to every practice, every, you know, every single drill, whether or not it was actually a competitive drill, just that really made me, you know, more determined and a better leader because of it. Caitlin, I want to say congratulations to you. This is a tremendous achievement and it couldn't have been accomplished without all of your hard work and determination over the last five years. I know this hasn't been an easy road for you, but it's the road that happened and I've been along for the ride and it's been a really fun ride to watch. So congratulations, you deserve this. Congratulations, Caitlin. This is so exciting and I don't know anyone more deserving of this award than you. Congratulations, Kate. Um, our family and I are cheering you on and we just want you to know we support you and we love you. Congratulations, Caitlin, on winning the Justin's Award. I am so proud of you as a coach and feel so blessed and lucky to have gotten to experience you for the last four to five years at NYU. You've left a lasting impact on me as a coach and a lasting impact on this program. And every player and coach that got to be a part of your career is better for it. So thank you so much, Kate. We'll miss you.